owning my own business, being able to retire my family. It's just, it's just been everything. It's just been the best thing ever to me. It's just crazy how everything changed. I was born and raised in Mauritania, which is a super small country in Northwest Africa. Moved to the state in 2017 with my family and then moved to Cincinnati and then moved to Bend, Oregon. And now I'm a business owner in Bend, Oregon, getting ready to move again to Boston. When I first moved in, I was 17, didn't speak any English, had some background in like construction. My whole life I grew up working with my dad, traveling to Morocco, to Senegal, small countries in Africa. So definitely was, I was really familiar with that industry. So I was like, I'm gonna just do what I actually, I grew up doing. So I started doing construction with my dad. We were a subcontractor with Home Depot and Lowe's. We were doing carpets, hardwood, basically anything you walk to inside the house. Obviously worked with my dad and started high school. So we were all trying to figure it out. We were all trying to help each other out. Kinda, you know, we're like, we made it, we're here. Now, now it's just time to actually, let's make these dreams happen and let's just change our life and stuff. So it was really challenging starting up in New York, bigger city, but we definitely worked that out. It was really fun. Me, my mom, my dad, we were all getting in the van, working together. Then we moved to Cincinnati for a job to work at a Hilton hotel to change like two floors, carpets and stuff. That labor, seeing my dad doing it his whole life and stuff, it's all coming back at him right now. It's affecting his knees, his back and everything. And really he doesn't want me to follow his path in that direction. I was like, I just need to find something, something where I can actually build a career. And I started entry level, obviously, with no zero experience, never sold anything my whole life. I started in Sam's Club in Cincinnati, Ohio. I was doing direct AT&T sales inside uh, Sam's Club, inside retail. It was a challenge because of the language. And I remember driving home, I'm like, oh my God, Mo, if you were just spoke English. I have knew that I can do this because I'm naturally super social. I love talking to people. I love helping people. I love kind of connecting with people. So I knew I can do it, but it was just the, the communication, the language that was kind of in the middle of it. So I just really just had to trust the process and I was like, I was that type of guy. I like up all night listening to YouTube videos about like, you know, about English and stuff like that and practicing with my mom and my dad. But it was definitely a challenge at first, definitely for sure. I always tell people I'm like the back of my family, basically. There's a lot of people basically looking up to me. There's a lot of people depending on me and stuff. So I've never had that mentality where I'm like not sure about something, where I'm like not confident in something or where I'm like, hey, like I'm gonna just give up, look for something else or hey, let me just look for the next opportunity. I was just the type of guy, hey, like here's, this is it, and I just need to do it no matter what, you know? And having that why, having that family that you provide for and stuff, I feel like it gives you a different type of mindset too. Like, it's, you're not like the regular person waking up every single day when you have like such a heavy why in your chest and stuff. So I'm super thankful for that why because it's everything in my success is my why, my family and stuff. My whole mentality was just to outwork every single person. I really wanted this opportunity. I was just so, so thankful, so excited because I was in like a different headspace where I'm like, I just can't believe myself. I'm doing this. It's like, it's great. My family's proud. I'm super excited. I moved cross country, opened my business. I was just like, wow, this is really the American dream that I was talking about before I moved to this country and everything. Owning my own business has definitely been profitable. After payroll, after every single my expenses in my business, and of course after paying myself as well. I saved up over $95,000 in six months in owning my business. I'm putting my mom and my dad all of them, my whole family on payroll right now. So both mom and dad are on payroll. They get paid every single week. My dad did struggle coming in. He was doing yellow cab in New York City. I'm in the position now where I was telling, I told him, hey dad, it's, that's it. Time for you to kind of retire. Another cool thing too that I was, I'm able to do now is paying, paying school for my nieces and nephews back in Mauritania all the way in Morocco now. So I'm paying for their schools, paying for the apartments they live in, and for all their shoppings and everything. So it really brings a lot of joy to me to be able to do that to them. 
my business relationship with Smart Circle is obviously I run a small business. A lot of people, most of my family members, most of my uh, employees as well, they're asking, hey, how were you able to kind of get a contract with such a big company like AT&T? Smart Circle act like a broker. They are the one who connect small businesses like my business to like clients like AT&T and then partners like retailers like the Costco, Sam's Club, the Target, the BJ's and all these big retailers. Uh, I like to go on hikes now, especially now that I'm on the West Coast and I'm in Bend, Oregon. It's known about hiking and floating the rivers. So I do love hiking, love working out, love spending time with my family outside. So my hobby is basically is just working out and spending time with my family. I think definitely for sure a big advice for me to anyone is just to fall in love with the process. At first we'll be challenging a lot with the time, with family, with outside influences can be a lot for this business. Trust the process, cast vision every single day, getting up, looking at the mirror, believing in yourself, knowing that, hey, here's my goals, here's what I'm gonna do, here's how I need to do it, and then just, just fall in love with the process and trust the process.